you've ever flown on an airplane, then you know that popped ears are just part of the experience. But have you ever wondered why that happens? It all has to do with atmospheric pressure. Pressure is essentially the weight of the atmosphere on any given point. So that means the Earth's pressure in our atmosphere is highest at the Earth's surface. The higher in the sky you go, the lower that pressure gets. Airlines try to acclimate passengers to these pressure changes by pressurizing the cabin, but that doesn't always do the trick. So what's going on inside of our ear when planes are ascending and descending? Behind me is a diagram of inside of an ear. As the plane rises, the air pressure outside of our ears is dropping, while the air trapped in our inner ear right here stays constant. The higher pressure of the inner ear will push up against the eardrum and push it outward, which may cause some discomfort or even some temporary hearing loss. The opposite happens when a plane descends. The rising pressure outside of our bodies pushes the eardrum inward toward the relatively low pressure that is in the inner ear, and your body equalizes that pressure, by, uh, the pressure difference between the air that is outside your body and inside the inner ear by opening up what is called the eustachian tube right here. That's often closed up, but when that opens up, that is the popping sound occurring, and that allows our ear to basically equalize the pressure going on there. Now, doctors say yawning or swallowing are just a couple of ways that passengers can try to pop their ears and relieve that pain caused by those rapid changes when you both rise and fall in an airplane. All right, that is your Local 5 Weather Lab. I'm meteorologist Taylor Knust.